Hi there, this is David Henderson, Mayor of the City of Brockville, and this is City View on brocknews.ca. And it is now the end of the month of November, going into the month of December in 2011. And the exciting thing of the day is not this mustache. Although this mustache is pretty exciting, this is all about Movember. And what's Movember about? It's about prostate cancer. And it's that very awkward thing that uh, guys in general, especially older guys, uh, really don't want to talk about. Uh, but they tell us that you should talk about it and get it checked, especially if you're over 45 or 50. I haven't got the exact figure, but bottom line is it's a big one for men. And Movember, which is mustaches for November, is bringing highlights to prostate cancer. And that's why I got this mustache going. So if you go to the website, uh, the Movember web website, and we got Team Brockville, and I know I'm going to make the mess of this because I haven't got all the names of Team Brockville, but Lee Bercy has uh, spearheaded the drive. It's Dave Lasseur. Myself, Austin to Lewis, uh, blah, 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 blah. I, I, sorry team, I know there's three more guys on there, but I don't have you. So, but, talk to Lee Bercy, Movember, prostate cancer, big stashes, Wilf Paymont, not ring any bells, there you go, Wilf Paymont, Lanny McDonald, that's the kind of thing right there. Which brings an important point to, to mind is that Sidney Crosby, he was back playing last night, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, the real big issue, facing City Council right now and the hot topic of the day of the month of the year is replacing Councillor Larry Journal. So tell you what we've done to date. Legislation says there are two democratic ways of replacing a councillor that has left a City Council in the province of Ontario. One is have a by-election. Go to the polls, have a full by-election. Potential cost of approximately 30000 in the City of Brockville. Council decided approximately a month ago that we are not going that way. We've had many elections. Uh, turnout is uh, not overwhelming, especially at the municipal level. And the feeling is, is that another election at a $30,000 cost is not appropriate at this time. So the second alternative allowed by legislation to replace a councillor is for an appointment from City Council. Bottom line is it's up to the nine remaining members of City Council to elect with a majority vote a new councillor. So how we do that, a committee of governance committee outlined the process based on common practices and past practices and actually up until 2004 I believe the recommended practice from the province is to we are we have now gone to the point of putting out a call for potential candidates who are qualified to be a councillor in Brockville, to send a letter in indicating their interest in being a councillor in Brockville. To be qualified means you have to either live or own property in the city and to not have been disqualified by breaking the Elections Act at some point in the past. So we have done the call out. We have received nine candidates, I believe, and who are qualified and interested. And on the 29th of November, we will have a process where uh, each uh, the council will be asked to nominate individuals from the people that have put their name forward and from that nominated slate we will have a roll call vote. Roll call vote is a recorded vote where each member of council's name is called out and they indicate who their vote is for. When the nominated people, when the, somebody out of that nominated slate gets five votes out of the, or at least five votes out of the nine, hey, there's my phone going off, isn't that something? Uh, uh, then they will be the next council, the new council member for the city of Brockville. So, so that happens on November 29th, and uh, that's approximately one week from tonight, and there's a lot of interest in that because it's an important role, and council members take it seriously, and we're getting a lot of the uh, input or feedback from people in the community about it. I know that the Recorder and Times has really pushed the ante up, uh, trying to indicate that the only way to go would be to automatically put in the person who had the next highest vote count. And, uh, well, if there are five council members that feel that that person uh, who had the next highest vote count should be the councillor, then certainly that's their choice. And we'll see if that happens. So, anyways, the vote is coming, 29th of November. I have a new councillor, move on. And that's pretty well the most exciting thing that we've had happening. We are in the budget process. Uh, the budget has had some, uh, some uh, positives and some negatives. We are looking at a total levy increase of approximately 
which means at the end of the day that the uh, average increase on a residential taxpayer is closer to 3%. Not great, but not bad. Uh, CPI or the uh, inflation rate in Ontario is approximately 3.4%. Yes, it is actually pretty high, which is tough in a tough economic uh, climate. Uh, but part of that is the energy and food costs have been pushing up. And Ontario has been faced with a tough climate just like much of the world. Although, on the good side, Brockville is faring relatively well. We're hitting about 7 or 8% unemployment. The United States is in the 9% unemployment rate. Um, Canada is still holding its own in the world sphere, but everybody's a little cautious about what's going on around the world, especially in Europe. We have the budget process is going through tonight. There'll be some more discussion on the 29th and then further discussions in January, and we should wrap up the budget this year in January, which will be about a month or two months ahead of the normal schedule. We are trying to put it into the fall of the year. Uh, this year we took a first step towards that. The process is going fairly well at this point, and uh, we'll see where we go. Some of the big questions that come up in January are the uh, incremental items, or the new items we call them. One is a discussion on an outside operational review, basically putting out a request for proposals from companies to come in and uh, do an operational review of either the entire city or parts of the city. <coughs> so that'll be an interesting discussion in January. Other than that, I think that's just about it. Economic Development Front, I know that Citizens of Brockville, I was at a Probus uh, meeting the other day, so uh, Stefan Dion was in town to speak to the Probus Club about the Clarity Act, which he was the father of uh, a number of years back. Excellent speech, actually. It was a good speech. And, uh, but at the Provost meeting, Citizens Brockville also indicated that they are starting up a number of citizens' committees looking into various aspects uh, to try and help the city out, uh, economic development, uh, some uh, entrepreneurial uh, development uh, uh, incubator type uh, committees, uh, how to look at the waterfront. I think there's about three or four that they mentioned, and, uh, so I don't have them all. But anyways, some good interest, uh, some good activities starting to come forward from Citizens Brockville. There's similar economic activities happening from the uh, uh, city advisory committees for the city as well. So a lot of people doing a lot of hard work trying to come up with the right answers, trying to move us forward. So that's what we need to keep doing. We work hard, we keep at it, good things will happen. Anyways, that's Dave Henderson, City View on BrockNews.ca for November slash December or Movember as it's called in some parts. Bye-bye.